Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. If you have a question for me for the next episode, just drop it in the comments down below. And look, I'm playing Indiana Horns! Anyways, now let's get into the questions starting with Republic Command. He says, my question is, what is your favorite clone legion? Um... I love the Bark Troopers, like hands down, they're my absolute favorite clone trooper, and I believe that's the 91st, I actually should have probably searched this before I um, sat down and started talking, so if I'm wrong, then okay, I look like an idiot, but I'm pretty sure it's the 91st um, Clone Legion, they're just my absolute favorite, um, so yeah, I love the Bark Trooper. Just give me a turkey club, thanks. Um, our next question comes from Jam Man. He says, favorite episode of any Star Wars TV series. Honestly, I don't have a favorite. I just, I love most of everything. So, um, I can't really answer that one. So, sorry. Um, our next question comes from Salty. He says, what is your favorite set that you have reviewed so far? I don't know. I guess Kylo Ren's shuttle. That's a really tough one to answer, really. Um, I'm going to go with that. Kylo Ren's shuttle. It's just such a gorgeous, beautiful set. And if you don't have it, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting it. Um, that goes for everybody, not just you, Salty. Um, it's just, it is one of the, in fact, I'm going to say it and someone might disagree with me in the comments and that's okay if you want to, but it's the best play set from last year, hands down, that Lego made um, for Star Wars. It is it is the best. Anyways, and our next question comes from E.K. Starlord, and he says, Do you think Lego missed out on a perfect opportunity to make Clone Wars sets in the, in this year? Wait, in this wave this year? I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of messed that up. Um, honestly, not really, and, and here's why. Because I, I truly believe that Lego knows that regardless of if there's a new TV show or movie or whatever, sets are going to sell, especially if they have clones in them. Um, now, that that begs the question, well, why doesn't LEGO release more sets with clone troopers if they're going to sell? Because um, it means more money, right? Um, and I can tell you, honestly, you know, um, people always get mad at Lego for being like, well, you should have made this set for this TV show, like the Clone Wars or the Mandalorian. But it's like, I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong in here, so don't quote me here, but I'm pretty sure that Disney has to give the rights to, um, Lego to even make the set. And then it takes like maybe a year to actually develop it because it's not like they just put the pieces together like they had to draw out what they're gonna do how they're gonna do it how many pieces it's gonna take how the book's gonna look what the box art's gonna look like you know and all that stuff it probably takes them a long time to make i can imagine so um to answer your question really though no i don't think lego missed out on an opportunity to um make clone Wars sets because i know that lego knows that when they release clone sets they're gonna sell regardless of what's popular so yeah um our next question comes from doc jedi films and he says will you be entering coconut brick studios mock contest hmm. no i don't think so our next question comes from jawa he says when do you think the rest of the the star wars sets will get revealed I'm going to have a little prediction here. Either mid-June, like anywhere in between, I should say, actually. Anywhere in between mid-June and early July, I, I bet, is when they're going to get revealed. And if I'm right, then that would be that would be pretty cool. So, that that's, um yeah. But there's not many more sets to get revealed, really. Um, actually, I guess there is, because we still don't know what that um, Grievous the Starfighter looks like. If that's even actually real, um, it could be a, a lie, you know. Our next question comes from Vader Bricks. He says, do you have the UCS Sandcrawler? Unfortunately, I do not, but I'm not really big on UCS sets anyway, so I'm not sad about that. Um, it's not so much about the money for me when it comes to like UCS sets. It's more about the storage because I don't have a lot of room in my room, which is quite ironic. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, no, I don't have it. Maybe I will get it someday. I don't know. But anyways, our very last question of the day comes from the Lego Pog, and he says, what do you think about the last episode of The Clone Wars and about Season 7 in general? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, at that point where I'm just, like, I've seen it all, so I'm kind of, like not able to be satisfied if that's a thing um but i feel like season seven had so much great potential to be this amazing season and i felt empty when it ended it felt for starters it felt too short because there was only 12 episodes um but the whole four parts with i, I can't remember their names um Ahsoka and those other two ladies. Um, I, I kind of enjoyed the, the arc, but it was just kind of boring. Let's be honest here. I think everybody can agree with that. And so that made it like we only got eight episodes in the Clone Wars because the Bad Batch was pretty cool and the, the last four episodes were pretty cool. So, um, it was just, it just felt empty. I don't, I don't really know why. And so my thoughts on season seven where they could have done better. Um, I'm not actually sure entirely what, but, um, and the last episode felt empty too. Like it didn't feel like as heartbreaking as it should have been, if that makes any sense at all. Maybe I'm just a cold hearted person, but, uh, I feel like it should have had more emotion to it. And I feel like it, um, could have been deeper, but it, it was cool. I liked it and I'm happy that we finally got an end, but I, I want more, you know, like that's the thing that like really sucks about it. I think that's why I'm kind of upset is because now it's like, well, that's it. So too bad. Um, so now I know there's rumors that they're working on like a sequel to rebels. And also it's rumored that they might bring the Clone Wars back, like some of the unfinished episodes. So we'll see what happens. But right now, my focus is now going to be turned towards the Mandalorian season two because I love the Mandalorian. Let me tell you that. So um, I don't really think I answered your question very good, but I, I think you get what I'm trying to say. So um, anyways, that's going to do it for today. So thank you all very much for your questions. Like I said, comment down below. If you have a question for the next episode of ASA and also make sure you look out for the pinned comment because I will be asking you a question in the comments. So yeah, that's a lot to remember. Leave a like on the video if I didn't say that already. Okay, thank you. Bye.